How's it going folks, Jeremy Adrian here, welcome back to the channel. Let's start the new week with a quick news drop. I was hoping we'd get some Final Fantasy XIV and Walker news from Square Enix at E3 this past weekend, but unfortunately we did not get any, so let's get straight to the news we have, beginning with The Elder Scrolls Online. Following Bethesda's presentation at E3 with Xbox this weekend, we do have a few bits of good news to talk about. The first being the teasers that we now have for the remaining two DLCs coming to ESO for the Gates of Oblivion year-long adventure. The next DLC is all about dungeons of course, titled The Waking Flame, while the final story DLC that wraps it all up is Deadlands, and ZeniMax Online Studios has mentioned that this will only be the second time in ESO that a Daedric Realm is available as an explorable zone in the game with some exciting content within to boot. Secondly, the Console Enhanced Edition for you ESO players will be coming on Tuesday, June 15th, tomorrow, and more importantly, ESO will be having another free trial across all platforms, beginning today, June 14th, running until the 21st of June, so if you've never played The Elder Scrolls Online before, this is a pretty great opportunity to jump in and check it out. Let's head to Cryptic's free-to-play Dungeons & Dragons MMORPG Neverwinter now, and hey, if you haven't heard the news, the game will be getting a pretty drastic level squish with a new level cap of 20 whenever the update module 21 arrives. A recent developer blog post explained the decision, which is to ensure that players, especially newcomers, can get to the newer content quicker, among other things. They've also talked about wanting to streamline the leveling experience so that older content will get some longevity and relevancy. So if you are a Neverwinter player, you can actually jump into the preview server to see the changes or check out the post in the link down below and share your thoughts about the level squish in the comments. Up next, we head to the Lord of the Rings Online where there's an important reminder for any players that have played on the Ithil Legendary server. Ithil will be shutting down by the end of the year, and logins, player logins that is, will close this week after June 15th, so you better transfer your characters off to any US or EU server, no restrictions on where. The reason for the shutdown is due to low population, and Ithil was originally created to accommodate the rollover population from the first legendary server called Anor. Anyway, Standing Stone Games has also teased that two brand new legendary worlds will be launching soon, so if you're itching for a new playthrough of old content, stay tuned for more info. Moving on, do we have an MMO anniversary to celebrate this month? We do, and it's Secret World Legends. As many MMO news sites have already pointed out, the fourth anniversary events this year, just like previous years, are being run by the small and active player community. And this year's Megaversary 4, the 4th H Door is what it's called, will run from June 23rd until July 6th, comprised of player-run events like races, boss summoning fights, and a ton more, with all the event details listed in the forums that I've linked down below. Now, I could spend over an hour talking about Funcom's Secret World, both the good and the bad, but I think I'll just leave it at congrats for staying alive for a fourth year, Secret World. Onward we go to EVE Online, and this past weekend at E3, the sci-fi MMO showed off its brand new website, EVE Academy, which has been in beta since May. EVE Academy is now fully launched, and its purpose is to offer a wealth of in-game knowledge, starter guides, basic guidelines, and so much more for new players to navigate the dense and somewhat complex nature of EVE Online. It's actually a pretty good tool, and as someone who's somewhat new to the game, I've already learned quite a fair bit just browsing through the website, and the good news is it will gradually be kept updated by the developers themselves as the game continues to evolve. If you're thinking about starting EVE Online as a new player, be sure to have the EVE Academy open to guide you through. Link below. Now for something new, Book of Travels, the successfully kickstarted MMO from 2019, has announced that it will be entering early access on the 9th of August with its Chapter Zero release. I should correct myself here, this is a TMORPG, also known as Tiny Multiplayer Online RPG, according to the developers, because while adventuring in the game's graphically stunning, novel-like visual world, you'll encounter other players but very rarely by design. The focus is to create an intimate online experience, and from day one, that did sound interesting to me, so I'm glad to see that we finally do have an early access date. You can find the game on Steam right now to wishlist and learn more. I've got the link in the comment section. Here's another reminder, RuneScape is officially launching on mobile come June 17th, joining old school RuneScape on iOS and Android. To celebrate that, the developers are throwing a giveaway which you can enter right now, I'll put the link below, in which you can be a lucky winner of a shiny new smartphone or tablet of your choice. 
You can now pre-register for RuneScape, of course, the app on the App Store. And if you need another reminder of what the mobile version will offer, it brings the same PC experience to mobile devices, which means you'll get all 20 years of quests, adventures, and fun right in the palm of your hand. Elsewhere, for players of Voxel MMO Trove, a quick reminder here that the game will be launching a brand new class this week, tomorrow, June 15th in fact, and it is the Bard class. After three years, Trove will finally be launching this new class, and the Bard has been on the test server for a couple of months with good feedback so far. And to wrap this up, for Cabal Online players, the game put out a brand new update this past week, the Holy Keldrassil. Catered for the endgame crowd, players can expect a brand new dungeon named after the update, and you're free to tackle it with friends if you like a challenge and new loot. And you can also look forward to world boss renewal, a brand new system, more wings updates, and runes as well. And that's all I've got for now, folks. Y'all have a good week ahead, and stay safe. Hit that like button for the love of MMOs, and if you're new around here, hey, feel free to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon so you'll never miss a video. Once again, I'm Jerem Adrian, and I thank you for watching.